This is the latest radical SR3, the SL. SL stands for Street Legal. At first glance, it's just 68 grand's worth of fiberglass. But it's supposedly the perfect car for those nutters who don't just want to race a car on the track, they want to drive it there too. In a moment, we'll find out if it's good enough to beat the king of this sector, the Aerial Atom. But first, a lesson. You may not have heard of Radical, but their reputation is top-notch. They made their first car in 1997 and have since gone on to race at Le Mans. They've sold over a thousand machines to car-loving lunatics around the globe. And believe it or not, this is their most civilised version yet. As you can see, it's absolutely laden with luxuries, like a cigarette lighter. The real refinement comes from the Radical's choice of engine. The four-cylinder unit is usually found in a Ford Focus. So, there's none of the hardy strung snarling, shaking and spitting you usually get in cars like this. It still gets to 60 in three seconds, mind you. Weighs about uh, 780 kilos. It's got a semi-automatic gearbox. It's manual, but with an automatic paddle shift change. Now, one of the things when you put a uh, turbocharged engine in a light rear-wheel drive car like this, is it can make it a bit twitchy to drive, a bit hard work, to be honest, with power oversteer all the time. Not so with this, it's very well sorted. I mean, Christ, we're doing a 100 mile an hour, it doesn't feel like it. <laughs> it's actually really good fun. But there's a rival, and this is it. This car, the Aerial Atom, is Fifth Gear's favourite track car. And like the Radical, it's road legal, got 300 brake horsepower and is a two-seat track weapon. And quite frankly, it'll leave your hair as bad as mine. But there's a difference. This only costs half as much. It's been a long time since I drove this car. <laughs> Every time I get in it, man, does it make your face smile. You know, it certainly feels quicker, a bit more lively. The best bit for me is the engine. It's got a real grunt, over 6,000 revs. So it's, uh, it's very well set up. Yeah, it's good. It doesn't break as well as the Radical. It moves around a bit more, but... <laughs> it's much more fun. So, petrol heads, we need to have a race, because if the Radical isn't any quicker than the Aerial, then there's no point in spending the extra 33 grand. So, here's a driver's eye view of one lap around the Anglesey racetrack. You won't believe how close it is. Start the clock. Both cars get off the line well and are neck and neck into turn one, hitting the apex at exactly the same time. At the next right-hander, it's obvious how much steering input the aerial needs to keep its rear in line. I'll tell you what, you've really got to concentrate. It's such a lively bit of kit. The aerial then pulls a small advantage on the straight. Christ, that's quick now. The Radical falls half a second behind. I'm just lacking a bit, a bit of horsepower. It just feels very underpowered. But the Radical's stability under braking means it easily catches it back up. The cars hit the middle of the next corner, bang together. <laughs> the Atom has less grip and needs much more corrective steering in this high-speed right-hander. It picks up better on the exit, though, so the cars remain level. It's two very different styles, and while the Atom is much harder work, it's much more fun. Oh, don't mess it up. Come on, GP. But still, the cars can't be split, tracing the same racing line at the same time. As they enter the final left-hander, it's still too close to call. Who's your money on? And stop the clock. The Radical crossed the line with a time of 1 minute 17.20. And the Aerial's time was 1 minute 17.11. That's just nine hundredths of a second faster. 
Cars like this are not normally my thing, but I have to say my mind has been changed. The Radical, well, it's so like a single-seater race car. It kind of reminds me of my days in Formula 3. Tons of grip, but just lacking in a bit of power. Whereas the Atom? Well, that's an assault on all your senses. The engine is stunning, and at nearly half the price of the Radical, it's got to be my choice. All right, breathe. Take a quick breath. On his lap, Karun had to decide exactly how much throttle to apply. On my lap, the car was doing it for me. So I've got... Three, two, one. Any wheel spin with that sort of power, time's gone. Go. 